We're always being told to, you know, think outside the box. So why not get outside your usual bottle? Don Retton from Village West Discount Liquors is here to school us on some red wine alternatives. Okay, Don. So Cab, Pinot Noir, Merlot, yes. Zin, Shiraz, those are your popular reds, your basics. Yes. But what might people like who drink Shiraz, another variation on that theme, another varietal well, maybe? They may like something called Chateau Neuf de Pop. This is a French wine. Hmm. It's spicy and tannic like a Shiraz. And so when you want to get out of the, the box, like you said, um, we have some wine wars going on. <laughs> so once you've gotten tired of your go-to wines, we have a huge variety to, to try. So Chateau Neuf de Pop, it's French. It's fun to say. <laughs> One more time, what is it? Chateau Neuf de Pop. I love it. All right, that sounds awesome. So it's, an, again, very close to Shiraz. Uh, and so give it a try. You may like it. Do people get stuck in a red wine rut? Do you I think? think so. I even get kind of stuck on. I love red blends. I love Pinot Noirs. And I know usually if I grab a glass of that, I'm, I'm going to like it 10 times out of 10. So, and then some of the names for some of the alternative red wines are a little bit different, like Chateau Neuf de Pop or Rioja. So um, it may be a little intimidating to go and pick something that doesn't sound familiar to your ear. But variety is the spice of life, yes, right? Yes, it is. Okay, yes, it so is. I like my cab. So what, what's the suggestion for people who like mm -hmm. their Cabernet Sauvignon? If you like Cabernet Sauvignon, um, it's usually very complex. It has a lot of layers to it, ages well. Usually uh, Barolo is a wine that's similar to that. This is considered the king of Italian wine. Is very complex and it gets better with time, like a lot of Cabernets. Barolo, I have never heard yeah. of Barolo. Okay, so what about blended reds? Um, again, one of my favorites. I love a uh, blended red. It's the best of um, all worlds or both worlds. Um, Rioja is basically a Spanish blend. It's usually made with a little bit of Tempranillo and other grapes, but it's a Spanish blend. So if you like your blends, try a Spanish Rioja. Spanish and Rioja. I think you would like that. Okay, duly noted. Okay, now mm -hmm. Pinot Noir. Now we're getting a little bit more yeah. robust. Yeah, yes. these are my last two are kind of my favorites. You'd like to try a Bernarda. Okay, hmm. so this is from Argentina. Uh, it has a lot of flavors of earth, spice, and fruit but um, not too heavy um, like a cab, but a nice, good, well-rounded flavor. Now, uh, some of these are outside my comfort zone, mm -hmm. so what am I going to pair these with? Um, again, my rules for pairing um, are pair it with what you like. First, try the wine by itself, and then try it with a variety of foods to see what you like. Um, the rule for white wine with white meats and red wine with red meats um, apply. However, your taste must be may be different and you may like to mix it up a little bit. Drink what you like, eat what exactly. you like. Exactly. Now, if I'm going to rush out and go to Village West Discount Liquors right now and buy a bottle mm -hmm. of red, what is your ultimate favorite oh, on this table? Gosh. I'm putting you on the spot, girl. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> um, again, um, I would index to what I'm used to, which would be the blends and the Pinot Noir. So I start with the Rioja and the Bernarda. But you also can't go wrong with the Primitivo. I think um, when you get outside of your comfort zone, you get a nice, uh, you don't have to pay a lot of money to get, try something different, and uh, you won't be disappointed. I'm going to throw caution to the wind. Cheers, dear. <laughs> Thank Let's you. Let's throw things Cheers. over to Michelle.